Welcome back to Shinobi Striker. Today we've got an impossible mission. I'm gonna make this heal type DLC actually function as a healer. I know it sounds insane because this Madara really doesn't feel like a heal type DLC at all. But I believe the Limbo clones are an extremely effective jutsu for protecting yourself. And as a healer, that's all you really need to support your team. And that's what we're doing today, bringing out the most out of the Limbo clones and maximizing our healing with a Madara DLC. If you want to see some loadouts with the Shadow Lightning, we made a video about it this past weekend, so make sure to check it out. But onwards to our first loadout, we're gonna use the Limbo clones to keep us protected while we heal the whole team with Palm Sage. It's been a while since I've felt comfortable using Palm Sage Jutsu because a single rogue kunai can just interrupt my healing and then my team is completely screwed. But now I have my posse with me and they've got my back. We got flag battle on the new stage. I don't think I've ever gotten this spawn point for the flag points on the top of the rooftop. I kind of like it. I like having the high ground. The whole team just moved to capture the flag. Okay, I will solo defend this. Me and the gang. Let's do this. All right, who's first? Attack type? Okay, you don't know what's here. Wow. The Shidori actually just moved him past the Limbo clones. He still got hit once, but yeah, that doesn't bode very well for me. I'm going to focus on time wasting a little bit, throwing some kunai here and there and uh, planting the clones every time I can, but I cannot win this team fight. This is just stalling until my teammates come back. Ah, oh, that guard breaks. I did not know that. And there's a range type now also trying to get the flag. Let me palm sage a little bit since I am currently in cover. He's going to cap the flag, but don't worry. I'm right here. We can get it back. We can get it back. No worries. I can do my job. Attack type, please let me do my job. Dodge that Chidori beautifully. Hang on. My team has arrived. Finally. Oh, we got it back. Nice. I'm still getting juggled, but now I feel much, much safer. Time to put down the clock. Clones and Palm Sage, this is what the loadout was built for. Palm Sage, protected by clones. Yeah, you wanted to interrupt it, didn't you? You thought I was just healing for free, but no. I had invisible clones with me, baby. And this attack type is gonna fall. We win the team fight. We didn't get the flag cap. That actually surprised me. I, I thought we had the flag for free. But let's finish this and I guess we're gonna try again. I see Ashura, our defense type, has gone for the flag while we are busy with this attack type. I like this strategy a lot. We're winning team fights and we're capping the flag at the same time. Just one rogue kunai? Nope. Okay, that's fine. That's fine too. There's a defense type trying to sneak behind us and capping the flag. Hang on. Throw some kunai. Throw off the point susano armor oh guess what this is unblockable <laughs> i have a counter to susano armor love to see it yeah i should maybe shouldn't just use palm sage in his face but you know what that wasn't bad i protected the flag it's a 1v2 i'm still doing it i'm still doing it and okay that's a lot that's a lot i need to heal a little bit and that is ashura finally arriving with our flag he caps it and he protects it Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I held on for as long as I could. Counter the Susano armor again. Clones are unblockable. Every unblockable ability is going to delete the Susano armor. So that is a very good one to do so. Tag type has an ultimate. We also got an ultimate. We got the Shisui Sharingan. And that's going to confuse opponents. And I also have an infinite Kuyomi ready to go. Everyone's going to get stunned. I don't even care if you try to run away with a flag. That's fine. Let's see where every enemy is. I don't find them. Oh, yeah. Get closer to those guys. And and we can catch all three of them. Oh, actually four. I didn't notice that guy behind our flag. So that's one. Get the flag back. Everyone is down to one HP. There's another kill. That attack type is attacking our defense type. So just throw a kunai and get him. Single kunai. That's beautiful. Where is the flag? Okay, this attack type is sure taking his time. Carry the flag back to our base. Are you telling me we just did a whole team kill and you can't move your slow ass? We actually have to assist him and protect him. We're gonna try our best. Delay this attack type enough. There's another attack type chasing the flag. We gotta get there in time. He's actually gonna connect. Oh my god, he almost rescued it. But our defense type is there with suicidal armor too. I'm here for the assist. I get hit by Shidori, but it's too late. You don't have a Susano armor counter. So we take that one. What a game. I still don't feel super safe using Palm Sage even with the gang. But hey, it's definitely the safest I've ever felt. Next up, let's plant a slug right in the middle of my gang. I don't think slug healing is that rare of a jutsu. I see it once in a while and I definitely use it on occasion. But having the limbo clones around the slug for extra protection whenever someone wants to go for a heal just sounds like a great idea to me. Unfortunately, we did get a barrier battle, which as we know is everyone's favorite game mode. But we're gonna start by protecting this stake right right here and I'm waiting for the enemy team to show themselves so I can plant my slug and summon the gang so me and this defense type are completely protected god damn it 
I've had to use my sub right away, but no worries. We can make our way to the spot right there. Some of the gang and all right, we've got healing. Let's help with the battle a little bit using the new mother staff. Yo, gang, welcome to the fight. That range type is bleeding really hard. Zoro can't block this heal type strong attack. He's gonna guard break you. I don't think he even blocked. We're able to regroup easily. It's a 2v1. Set up the slug again and the gang. We have successfully protected the stake, at least for now. Kind of a long cooldown on these guys, so I really hope no one attacks us right now. We are very slow getting up because we got a movement debuff, but we still make it in time to interrupt that. They pulled up half the stake. Let's summon the gang once again. The slug is still on cooldown. Thankfully, we do have backup, and that majestic fireball is not gonna come out, dude. There's another range type remaining. It's the range type with a water dragon that's been slowing us down all game. He's gonna tank some attacks with that majestic, but his health is gonna drop enough that we're gonna be able to just jump in there and get the kill. So far, so good, until that water dragon hits again. God damn it, that's hard. Oh, gang on top of the stake. Beautiful spot to summon. We do get hit by a fireball and wall splat, but no worries, we still have healing tags. I cannot make it in time to protect the rest of the stake from being pulled up. So we do lose that one. The other one is still brand new, so uh, we, we're good. But for a second there, it felt like I was alone at this stake. What happened to my team? Anyway, Majestic Fireball is gonna hit us out of there. The gang has been summoned, but I don't know what happened to them. They got deleted somehow. So this is gonna have to be just a normal fist fight. Using Taijutsu only and uh, that's that's not a great sign for me <laughs> We are able to get this beautiful juggle between the two heal types range type bleeding really hard My clones are off cooldown. Let's summon the gang and hey don't walk into that. I told you not to walk into that Infinite Skuyomi is ready to be launched and I'm gonna do just that since my teammates are actually saying that the stake is under attack So I just stunned everyone and now I'm trying to get closer just to launch the second stage of the Jutsu And there you have it that opponent is down to 1 HP I just did a full screen ultimate stunned the opponents on the other side of the stage Walked all the way over there to finish them off. That was one hell of a stake protection and uh oh here is another infinite squeal me from our other heal type runner, but alas the team wasn't coordinated enough We didn't hear any call out which means we actually ruined that ultimate and we cannot prevent the final stake from being pulled The enemy team is able to clutch pull that final stake right before timeout But now they have to defeat Gamakichi in one go as soon as that barrier comes back up We win the game So we just got to do a good job of protecting him and that is a big Susano on Gamakichi that is gonna deal a lot of damage and we can't really do anything about it other than maybe tank some of these shots ourselves. Yeah, Makchi bleeding, Majestic Fireball is gonna completely miss that. Enemy team is bleeding hard there, but they're actually doing their job damaging Gamakchi and they actually pull it off. Well done to the enemy team, but I am gonna kill you because I hate that you just did that. And now it's back to protecting stakes, but first we're in a 1v1 against this range type. We're gonna tank the fireball in the face as we do have the health advantage, so we'll be fine as long as they keep fighting. So we get back in there, the attack priority goes for the range type there, and again for the range type we combo get hit with water dragon. Oh my god, I cannot close in on this range type, is doing a very good job, but hey, the gang is here. No one's attacking this stake just yet, so let's use this time to regenerate some cooldowns perhaps do some healing which will help us build our ult once again our ult is charged up and ready to go now we have to pick our moment right we can't just panic and use this when we're getting attacked by a single guy no 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 we want to catch the whole team in the infinite squeomi I actually can't believe I built this ult twice in a single game. This is the first time it ever happened to me. But I've heard other people say they, they were able to do the same. So, hey, I guess it's not that hard to build as a heal type. As long as you're, you know, actually healing. In comes a range type at the distance. Let's summon the slug. Let's summon the gang. You're not going to hit me with that fireball, mate. The gang is protecting the stake. Beautifully done. I see the rest of the team is here. So time to stun everyone in infinite Skuyomi. That's right. We caught one, two, I believe three players. And it's time to activate the second stage. Down to one HP. Get him, guys! Get him! Get him! That's one kill, that's two, and that is three, baby. With one minute to go, this play might have just won us the match. 
summon the slug again, summon the gang. This is gonna buy us at least 10 more seconds. But the enemy team doesn't seem too interested in attacking the stake directly as two of our teammates meet them out in the open. Incoming Majestic, I choose to block it because I'm an idiot. And now they're finally going for the stake, but guess what? There's a big karma bubble right there. And that is definitely gonna be enough to run the timer out, protecting the final stake from being capped. And another infinite Kuyomi, even with me ruining the setup for this ultimate, there's no time left, the game is definitely ours. So yeah, the lesson this loadout taught me is uh, if you're actually healing, this ultimate jutsu isn't super hard to build up. Maybe the problem last time was just running a bunch of damage abilities, and for heal types, that's just not as good for building ultimates. And for our final loadout of the day, I'm gonna use a healing jutsu that I don't think I've ever used before. It's the healing circle from Sarada. Usually, you put this down and your allies get healed by walking into its range. But the problem is, they'll still be in a fight as they try to do so. Well, not if the healing circle has bodyguards. So let's check it out. And we got a flag battle, which is perfect because our healing circle is great for protecting our own bases or our own flag. And thank god it's daytime, I cannot do another game with that heavy snow during nighttime. It is lonely out here protecting the flag, so I'm gonna move out as our defense type is bleeding a little bit, but I see a range type moving past him. Oh, hi, Mark. Let's summon the clones. This area is protected and put the healing down in case we need it. So now we can freely fight and we got hit by the attack type that was attacking our heal type right there. So the fight has shifted into this place and we're gonna switch targets right here because I feel healthier going after this range type and our defense type should be able to easily finish that attack type or or not, it is a 2v1. I put some healing down. I put the gang down. Oh, hi, Mark. The attack type is going to fall and the range type is going to follow. Beautiful 2v2. And the cooldown on this healing circle is kind of fast. Look at that. It's already up again. And it heals a decent chunk. Our defense type didn't need to be here for super long to get back to full health. First impression, I kind of like the slowdown. Mark is again going for the flag. He's going to fight the defense type first. And oh my god. And they're up with a demon hunter. That range type is not going to stand a chance. And did I? Oh, uh, uh, did I just get hit by a majestic fireball while the enemy had no animation? Damn, Mark, I didn't know you were talented like that. Anyway, Mark's dead and we're free to get the scroll. Our team is carrying the flag. I'm gonna try to help them out by setting up some bodyguards in case someone's chasing them. An attack type is gonna rush the flag carrier and then the range type is gonna hit me. Our heal type is able to pick up the flag again and he's got Truth Seeker Orb, so he's gonna be able to move it forward a little bit more. But then Truth Seeker runs out and what do we do? next ah oh, the flag fell on me i'm panicking 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 just move hey the team's protecting me nicely so i can just easily walk it in one flag cap down one more to win ouch there's a tech type attack me from behind like a true coward all my jutsu are on cooldown this is not a good time we're gonna have to fight very honestly and our sub is back and i have no idea where i just subbed but that was kind of far from where i was being juggled my teammates come to my rescue and the attack type still has ultimate to go so we're gonna summon the bodyguards force him to use the sub and he seems to have shifted his focus to something else oh shadow lightning i'm gonna be honest guys it doesn't feel great to uh, when I'm on this side. I have to ignore that fight and move towards our flag. He needs some protection. Put down the healing circle. This way we're both going to be able to protect it a bit better. It is a 2v2, but these are two attack types. So I'm not feeling super optimistic about winning this fight, but we can outlast them and oh, I guess we win. <laughs> Thanks, Ashura. The healing circle has a really low cooldown, which makes this loadout really good for denying bases or just protecting your own flag. I like this one a lot. And that's going to do it for today. As you can see, Limbo clones can definitely be very effective effective at keeping you safe. I mean, it's no truth seeker orb, it's no water pillar, but at the same time, I feel like the opponent can't really easily pick a counter to this ability because usually they can't even see it. And unlike something like truth seeker, after you activate the limbo clones, you are still free to move around and heal your teammates while being protected by your posse. So I ended up really liking the loadouts we tried out today and I really like the limbo clones as a defensive ability for sure. But do let me know what if you've been running on your loadouts with the Limbo clones. Feel free to leave your loadouts in the comments down below to inspire fellow shinobi who randomly found this video. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku and I'll see you next time. Bye!